This is Denman. He looks well, doesn't he? Freak strong chasing. We'll see he's ready to run. Denman just from lies green with 50 yards to go. Denman gonna make it three for Paul Nichols. Denman is the winner. He was just such a super individual. It's what I call my type of horse and Paul's type of horse as well. He just kept putting his head out and wanting the win. And he really tried his heart out every time. First time over fences, I'll never forget when he hit the fence so hard, it never took nothing out of him. And I said, there, that is a tank. That's not a horse, that's a tank. Probably one of his best performances was winning the Hennessy the second time. After his heart problem, off a big, big weight, that was probably his best performance ever. Damon is keeping on. Another demolition job from Damon, and he wins his second Hennessy. Denman's arse was a um, big, strapping individual. Very strong, very powerful. Big hind quarters, very strong neck. His ability to just gallop and jump was phenomenal. Denman, I mean, that's what he was all about. He was all about jumping and staying. He was just an awesome beast. He had a huge stride. Um, when you rode him, the best way to describe it was almost like he had self-imposed blinkers on. He just put his head down and just ran. Once you got him going, you know, you don't, all you had to do then was keep a lid on him for as long as he could, because um, when he got into a rhythm, he took some stopping. He's the best horse I've ever ridden, really. Mm. And it's difficult to kind of comprehend how a horse can win such a, a big race so easily, so I can not quite believe it. I had the pleasure of riding him a few times. I was in control for probably about 50% of those times. And he would bite you or kick you. You know, he was that type. He had a bit of character about him, which, you know, which is good. The good horses have always got something about him. He, he could make grumpy old faces and swish his tail and snap his teeth, but he, he knew where the line was, I always think, and if he ever did connect, he always knew he'd done it, and you know, he didn't really need too much telling off. He was, he was a good guy, really. He was just a bit of a, a, bit of a playboy. He was tough and gutsy. Uh, he was a superstar. Good looking boy and a bit of a playboy and just a superstar. Horse of a lifetime.